All right, we're back into the Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, jumping in to Mega Man 8. Now, this was a PlayStation game. There might also, I think there was a Saturn version as well. And this is another game that I, well, it was in, highly anticipated by me, at least. But when it came out, I didn't actually, I don't think I actually had a PlayStation at the time that came out. So, I um, I wasn't able to get it, but it was one of the games that made uh, gave me like the decision to buy it, the PlayStation, as opposed to say like a Nintendo 64. But by the time I got it, uh, by the time I got the PlayStation, that is, there was so many other games that I wanted to play first, like Resident Evil or Final Fantasy VII. So M Mega Man 8 kind of. Um, fell under the radar and then I ended up getting it years later like like three or four years after I got the PlayStation stopped into a Funko land or some shit and and picked it up so and by then like the I, I wasn't feeling it anymore so I didn't play it much so I don't have much in the way of experience with this game playing it right now It's good to see that they made Mega Man Sprite a little bit smaller on the screen. I guess the PlayStation 1 was operating, or could anyway, operate at a higher resolution than the SNES. So, so what we're looking at here didn't even destroy the tree. <laughs> oh, there we go. It, so you could have a detailed sprite without making him gigantic on the screen. I like how I can fire the, uh, the standard arm cannon and still use the ability separately. Oh, Mega Man can swim. It just seems wrong. Hmm. Was that an energy tank? Oh, bolts again. The graphic style is also, I mean, there's more memory. System memory, that is. As well as storage in a PlayStation as opposed to an SNES or an NES. So you can have... as clearly being put to use here as a... Haha! <laughs> being put to use to add more frames of animation and more detailed environments and all that kind of stuff. It's like cool seeing some parallax scrolling and all that kind of stuff here. It does seem a little cartoony and goofy. And, uh... But, you know, Mega Man's never designed to look that seriously. I definitely... Ah! Oh, how did I avoid that? Okay, so you hit it with a Mega Buster. And then it, uh... It knocks the, the top hat back. And then you use that opportunity to damage it. Oh, you know what? The Mega Buster's damaging it, too. Doesn't look like it's damaging, because it's not getting, like the normal sounds you'd get out of a damaged enemy. I'm not sure if it'll stagger me if it hits the ground while I'm touching the floor, but I'm gonna not risk it and take the and jump anyway. Wily, you again. It's over, Wily. You don't need to speak, Mega Man. You don't need to speak. <laughs> Goofy bastard. Stop letting this guy out of jail. Oh, there's a robot in there. I got it, doctor. I got it, doctor. <laughs> Let's do it. 
Ten good man. Ready. Ready. You don't need to speak. Alright, platforms. Oh, flying whales. Oh, these hard hat guys are everywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, no. 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 Damn it. Damn it. Five minutes and like 45 seconds. Alright. Alright. 